Yeah. This be the end of my channel. The wise man once said, you miss every shot you don't take. But I'm pretty sure this is about to get swatted off the backboard. Before we get into all of that, I want you guys to picture something. It's Saturday. You got some cinnamon toast crunch. Got your orange juice. And you ready to eat good while watching some good old cartoons. You turn the TV on and you see Dragon Ball Aaron. And you turn that shit right back off because ain't nobody got time for that. Time goes on, it's late at night. You're not supposed to be up because your grade's not looking right. And Miss Sally about to call your parents about you messing up in math class. Yeah, Miss Sally, you messed up my Saturday. I'm coming for you. But then you hear this. Dragon, 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 dragon ball yeah, that touched the nerve, didn't it? Yeah. This was the greatness of Dragon Ball Z. Arguably the greatest anime ever made. You know, except for it's behind a guy got killed, but we not gonna talk about that right now. Regardless, the pure relatability that we felt when that song come on, I'm pretty sure y'all felt the same way when this man came on the screen. Now for all my watchers of old Dragon Ball Z, we know Vegeta was a straight up menace. Like the pure tension this Teddy Slump built ass nigga bought to the screen when he appeared was actually all inspiring because you knew something was about to go down. Yeah, over time, my nigga got a little soft, but at the same time, when he first came, you knew shit was about to go down. Now listen, I know y'all already in the comments fiending over the Broly movie. We ain't talking about that. It ain't canon, so we ain't gonna talk about how they did my nigga Vegeta wrong in like every single movie. Like, Akira Toyama or whoever made the Jane. What's up with y'all? Like, the pure disrespect they did to Vegeta is crazy because it's literally like a 10 hour loop of this man crying in the rain. Vegeta's not like that. And if I Catch you in the comments speaking down on my nigga Vegeta. Instant ban, nigga. Regardless, we got to talk about the immense savagery this man Vegeta displayed throughout the series. But we got to go way back to the beginning of Z. But I mean way back to the Saiyan Saga where my man first appeared. And I ain't gonna lie, when they was on that planet before they came to Earth, I knew they was on demon time. But I ain't gonna cap when Vegeta first stepped off that sand pot. My boy Drip was not heat with them damn hotel epaulets. That long, crusted hairline. My boy hairline looked like it was a used car with 300k miles on it. I do wonder what my nigga would look like with a nice hairline though. And then on top of that, he's short. So me as a kid, I did not take this man seriously at all. But boy, was I mistaken. Cause when Nappa got defeated, shit got real, bruh. Shit got real. Cause me as a kid, I'm thinking, all right, my nigga Goku just put in some work. This short ass nigga ain't finna be able to do nothing. Until this 5-2 demon picks up Nappa, big bald ass, flings him to the air and kills him. Now I really gotta find out Vegeta's workout regimen because I swear Nappa had to be at least 360, bruh. And then my man proceeds in to put in straight work on this nigga Goku, bruh. He was beating the goofy out of this nigga, dog. Like a lot of people don't remember how much help Goku actually needed to beat this man. Dude had to have King Kai, the Kaioken, Krillin, and Gohan. And plot armor! What type of shit? And he still didn't get the job done. I mean, obviously because Goku helped him out, but still, bro solo the strongest nigga on the planet with no BS transformation. Give my man his flowers for real, dog. I don't know what happened on his trip to Namek, but my boy came out on straight demon time when he went there, bro. Off the rip, he blew my nigga Q up with ease. And then made the movie kill the with dirty fireworks. Man, tell me that don't sound like a hard ass diss track. Like this short ass nigga had this big pink blubbery ass spiky head nigga Dodoria in fear, bruh. And then he packed this ugly ass up. And let's not even talk about how he was on Namek just straight working random Namekian NPCs. Like, bro was really enjoying killing these niggas way too much. Like, he literally killed the nigga by putting a dent in his forehead. And bro got put in the regeneration chamber, woke up, and instantly got back on timing. Like, the way Apple looked when this nigga woke up looked like he saw a ghost. And then Vegeta turns him into one. 
then my boy got his ass whooped by the hands of Zarbon, started listening to NBA Youngboy, and came back and started smoking his pack. Yeah, my man built different, bro. God. Like, I don't know what Vegeta was on on this saga, but this man was just on a path of destruction. But he wasn't done either. Bro literally cut this nigga Goldo head off. I mean, he kind of was doing him a favor because that nigga ugly as hell. I'm not going to cap. And then proceeds to blow it up. Man, my nigga Goldo didn't deserve that. Rest in peace, my nigga Goldo, bro. <laughs> Said nobody ever. <laughs> nah, the way he popped up out of nowhere to step on this nigga burger neck. Shit made me never want to be at odds with this nigga Vegeta, bruh. Then right after that, he proceeded to blow up Raccoon Man Jace. Bro got his get back for real. I probably need to change this video to Vegeta the get back king rather than thuggery king. Because this man, this man always gets his get back, bruh. Yeah, bro was on straight demon time in this whole saga. Until that nigga Frieza put him in his place and he started blabbing about being a super saiyan. And thus began the downfall of Vegeta. But not before he took this nigga Yamcha, bitch! Had Boma ass tooted up on a Saturday night. Stop playing with my nigga Vegeta, bro. But they did my nigga wrong in the Android saga, for real, bro. He had one of the best speeches with the instilled fear to the Android J. And then us Vegeta fans was like, yeah, this finna be a great art. And then proceeded to get pummeled over and over and over again. Yeah, it just wasn't for him. But before we get up out of here, we gotta talk about when my nigga went Majin. Because the type of timing he was on is what we wanted from Vegeta from the get-go. And he definitely delivered. He started off by bodying a whole crowd of people. Like, literally, that's the coldest villain shit. Like, just no, no preparation, no nothing. Just straight up bodied them. Straight killed them. The people had families, bruh. And he didn't give a damn, bruh. And then he was whooping Goku ass. Now, I know he had Super Saiyan 3. But on par when them niggas was the same? But Cheeto's whooping that nigga ass, bruh. Niggas wasn't fucking with Vegeta for real, for real. Then he proceeded to get one of the coldest speeches in anime history after killing a whole crowd of people. <laughs> Yo. <laughs> I can't forget that, bro. I'm a little Vegeta different, bro. But yeah, like, comment, sub up. 90% of y'all niggas not subbed up. And if you are not sub, you either don't fuck with me, you don't like black people, or you don't got fingers. So sub up, man, and I'm out.